And welcome back, this is Butler Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is, you know, he is ranked number one in his Platinum Division with 2,585 points, 1,189 wins, 1,131 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against, you know, he is red and protoss in the southwest the map is steps of war which is my favorite map i think i don't know how good i am on it but i like how it's balanced i like how the expansions work i like i like a lot about this map i like the the distance between the two uh parts uh, the, the the two spawning areas i don't know something about this map i just like it even though I probably have a better record on a different map, I don't know. They should probably keep track of that. That'd be awesome if they could be like, hey, you know, as Terran, on this map, you have a record of this on uh, 1v1. You know, just a, just a small little detail that would that could be added to the game. I think it would be awesome. You know, I could find out what my best map is. Because I honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't keep track of that kind of stuff. So you know, he is ranked number one in his Platinum Division. I did see that he was slightly favored, apparently, um, you know, between 19th and... Actually, no, I'm ranked 10th now in my Gold Division. So 10th in Gold and number one in Platinum is only the difference of slightly favored. Uh, I think it should be more than that, actually. I want more points. But we are seeing a pretty standard build from me. I am going for the barracks and the refinery. He's, of course, is going to harass my SCV, because why wouldn't you? His gateway is on the way, as you can see. Once again, it's about five to, well, seven seconds, seven, six or seven se seconds faster than mine by barracks. I do pull a SCV off the line to deal with it. I actually pulled two off, uh, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out, huh, do I... Where do I want to put him? Yeah, I want to put him on the refinery, get that orbital command up, getting the marine out, and I'm back to where I normally am. He is getting a cybernetics core. I am going to be able to spot that. Where is my SCV? It is going through the mineral line, which is not a smart idea, but I will go by the cybernetics core. I can see here that it's actually a smaller building than the uh, gateway building, so I do know that. Plus, I did click on it just to double check, make sure it's not a forge, but that size building is usually a cybernax core so I did see that coming it's a pretty standard build for a Protoss player this early nothing too unusual he is going for warp gate technology and he is chrono boosting the hell out of it and that's pretty standard for Protoss when I play him and here, once again, do a relatively smart thing. I stopped the SCV right on in the middle of the ramp so the probe, if he was set to attack, it won't go all the way up the map. Let the Marine start doing damage. He does catch that and sends the probe back into his base with, it looks like, 16 health left uh, before he got out of range. Three Rex is on the way. Meanwhile, he, you know, is going for a full block off with four gateways four gateways uh, i don't know how i feel about that a full block off using three gateways he will he will need to use this probe out here this guy to build yes a proxy pylon and that is necessary in this case because if he doesn't have any um this Without this probe, this this build would not work because he would only be able to build inside his base and then he'd have to destroy one of his gateways in order to get his units out of his base. So I'm not going to be able to see this pylon, not for some time. I am building supply depots around my base, but this is around the base of my expansion. And I will need to probably get that Vespin Geyser up and running before I'm going to be able to spot that pylon. I am going for concussive shells and stim pack. Meanwhile, still constantly going for Marines and Marauders. He is going for Zealots and Stalkers. Mostly Stalkers, but one Zealot along for the ride. As well as the Probe. Don't know why the Probe's going, too. Probe wants to have fun, though. And you can't have fun hanging around the pylon. But they are going to be on the high ground here. 
So he's he has sight on it. He's gonna start morphing stuff in. Did I say morphing again? They warp stuff in. They come from ire. I did look that up, by the way. And up they come. Custom shells are done, but once again, I like to hold the ramp there. I don't want them going inside my base uh, to find out exactly what's going on. But he does know, he should know that I have three racks based on the fact that I have enough of an army to hold him back. In fact, I have about the same army that he does. I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, that's about even in here. He's going for an early expansion on the high yield. It's about a, a good timed expansion overall but for the high yield this is incredibly early and this is the sneaky kind of stuff that you can do on steps of war that makes it one of my favorite maps and I'm going for a push here a little retaliation push and I no no I'm not going for the push here I thought this must have been a different game that I was thinking of it looks like I'm gonna be uh, going for an expansion here that is my plan no, it's not. I am. I have no money whatsoever. I have no minerals, no gas. Um, he does. He definitely has enough for an ex another expansion after this one. He's actually getting another pylon at the expansion that he's going for. But I don't have that. Um, but I'm moving in with my army. I definitely have the lead now. He did end up destroying uh, the gateway uh, so that he could move his army back inside his base. So I never knew that he went for that block off. It was, uh, I don't want to say an all-in, but it was about a three-quarters in uh, with that proxy pylon. Able to take out uh, the zealot before it gets any damage done. And a massive amount of, wow, that is a lot of force fields. Not particularly well placed because and badly timed because I was able to make it almost all the way up the map or up the ramp sorry before he, those uh, went down and there he leaves the game he has no choice he has nothing left and does he yeah he's 14 seconds away from being able to get two more units and two more units is not going to do anything so that was the game it was pretty fast but there was a lot going on in this game once again, that sneaky expansion, I never I never expect that, and I never think of doing it, which is probably why I never expect it. A proxy pylon that pretty much didn't come into effect, a uh, little bit of bad placement there on the, the, three the, the three gateways blocking off the ramp. He ended up having to destroy him. That had to hurt him overall. Yeah, considering I only lost 450 resources worth of units, and I know... Was that 150? So, I mean, he lost so much more than me. In oh, stop chrono boosting. Is he making? Yeah, he's still making. Uh, no, he's making probes, but only here. He's not making any here anymore. He is not fully saturated here. Obviously, he still needs about four more before that's done. So yeah, rank number one in platinum. I did not expect that. I I didn't expect it to be this uh, relatively simple for me. I don't want to say it's easy because I never want to say that my opponent is easy. Once again, falling apart on macro. Once I once I start doing. Um, this kind of damage I'm like oh that, that's game that 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 would be game never even got the weapons level one done never got the combat shield done it's just a uh, little bit too early but really what what the reason I wasn't able to get that earlier was because I didn't go for the second gas I stuck with the minerals for far too long if I was gonna stick with the minerals that long I would need to get uh, two more barracks up and then possibly an expansion I still should have done that uh, you never know, especially with uh, Protoss or Zerg players, they have the ability to get their army back up a lot faster than Terran armies typically can. So I always uh, need to remember to keep that in mind. But I'll have to do that next time because this game is over because I won. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.